In 2012, Bishop Thaddeus Ma Dachin of Shanghai defied the Chinese government by resigning from the Catholic Patriotic Association, a moment captured in this video. It was the last time Bishop Ma was seen in public. He has since been living in a seminary under house arrest, but he was not forgotten by Catholics around the world who protested his disappearance. Uh, certainly the uh, international uh, community have been uh, paying a lot of attention and, and uh, looking for him. And uh, a lot of members of Congress have mentioned about his uh, uh, sudden enforced disappearance uh, after that time. But last June, Bishop Ma sent shockwaves among Chinese Catholics when he posted a blog praising the Patriotic Association and apologizing for denouncing it. This week, it came to light that Bishop Ma has rejoined the Patriotic Association and is serving on its local executive committee. Bob Fu says such reversals are the new norm under President Xi Ping. I'm confident to say that uh, he must have gone through some extraordinary uh, difficult experience, uh, if not uh, tremendous torture, uh, you know, to uh, break his will. Bishop Ma's reversal has touched off widespread reactions of confusion and betrayal as the Holy See reportedly draws close to normalizing relations with the Chinese government. The Vatican has been nearly silent about Bishop Ma's case and recently downplayed ongoing religious persecution in China. Without uh, speaking up um, for those uh, who are imprisoned uh, for their faith, and uh, I think the Vatican um, will be regarded as a really a kind of, uh, I mean, a, a serious mistake. Pope Francis has often expressed hope of visiting China, where there are an estimated 12 million Catholics, millions of whom worship in underground churches. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.